Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round four for Group B matches. And in these matchups, we will see the former champ Laos going up against Team Europe, Kit Green taking on Tabletop in Shadow Force, and Dino Nerd going up against Slifer's Sky Dragon. Um, I think this could be an important game, a chance for Laos to, to put some breathing space between himself and the bottom two. So, without further ado, let's get on with the first match. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Laos taking on Team Europe. At first for Laos, we have an Alpha Kendrosaurus. And um, we've seen the good and bad of this thing. We've seen it do well and we've seen it die. Wonder what we'll get this time. Hopefully for Laos' sake, we'll see it do well. But, as for Team Europe in the blue corner, we have a Polar Canthus. And we definitely see what this guy can do when he gets mole attack off. As Dino Nerd found out. A chance here for Laos to pull away from the bottom two and heat pressure on Kit Green going into their matchup as well. But it's also a chance for Team Europe because Laos doesn't even really fire on all cylinders. You know, it's been a bit hot and cold, so. Team, Team Europe have a good chance here. Not with a start like that. I should point out. Spike arrows coming from the Kentrosaurus. Although Shadow Force was on the other was on the receiving end, end of an opening spike arrows and they fared pretty well against Laus. Ooh, an Earth Barrier as well. The perfect start for Laus that. Half of Polar Campus's HP is gone, while the Kentrosaurus strengthens its defense. Ooh, an attack boost though. But it won't do too much damage because of that Earth Barrier. Is it attack boost? Yeah, yeah, it's attack boost. I think, yeah. Because I have the, um, one of the food cards as rock. I mean, you'll see which one it is, because I'll pop the moves up in English. The Polar Cam for striking back. Oh, that's another tie. And another tie. How many ties does this game want to give us? I, I, I swear, like, ties are, like, the most common, like, outcome in, in doing RNG in these matches. Well, there's the poison, not that it matters because the, the Polar Campus is dead and Laos takes a 1-0 lead. Alright, up next for Team Europe we have a Super Lillian Sternus. And this moveset was inspired by someone who participated in my last tournament. And if you watch those videos then I'm sure you know who it was. And it was a darn shame that they didn't partake in this tournament, because I would have looked forward to seeing what they would have come up with this time. But no matter. Ooh, Lillian Sternus getting the first hit. Okay, Awaken Mode on two, so that's once. Another hit from Lillian Sternus. Team Europe fighting back against Laos. And it's Awakening time. I'd say the best case scenario here would be a draw. Because a draw would take out the Kentrosaurus, I think. Oh, but a draw is not what Lillian Sturness is going to get. Instead, Laos is going to get off a big spike arrows and strengthen his grip on this match. <coughs> and remember, Lillian Sturness's HP will be halved as well. A chance missed for Team Europe to get right back in this contest. Although, a tie will definitely help it with that tie attack coming in to play. Oh, disaster for Team Europe as Laos takes a 2-0 lead. Okay, as for Team Europe's third and final dino, we have a Satiosaurus. Watch out for that Hydro Cutter. And it could be key for Team Europe to get back in this match. Along with Ocean Panic as well. But things are definitely looking good for Laos. A big chance here to secure the win. And get a bonus point to boot. Although the Kentrosaurus is finally defeated. And a pointless tie bomb. 
Okay, as for Laos second dino, we have an Eoraptor, and what will it become this time? We're about to find out. Ooh, a Sorofagonax! Um, I d again, I'm not sure if type advantage like matters with Eoraptor, but if it does, that's not good for Laos, but what's this paper scissors move? Okay, it's Firebomb. <laughs> wow, it's got a really bad attack. I just noticed that like, Eoraptor has such weak attacks. I, su I suppose his power is all in the technique. I mean, it has frail health, frail attack, but really, really good technique. So yeah, I'm safe to safe to concert, confirm that that move is Firebomb. Ooh, the Sorofagonax getting off the first hit. A defense boost and a tie bomb. Yeah, I'm just going to say Sorofagonax. You know what I mean. This is your Raptor. You know it's your Raptor, but it's Sorofagonax. Hydro Cut again triggered. That could probably one-shot the um, Sorofagonax. Oh, another tie bomb coming in. And another defense boost. And a fire bomb coming into play. Louse bomb top. And has been on top since the start of the match, to be honest. Not too much damage dealt, though. But there's more defense boost, which could definitely help Laos. But can they secure a bonus point win? Not when RNG's doing that. Oh, oh my god, another hit from the Eoraptor. Sorry, Fagnax. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything, any hit form of damage will kill the Satiosaurus now. Yep, that's a tie, and that will finish off Satiosaurus. And that's a well-deserved bonus point win for Laos, and that puts some breathing space between him and the bottom two. Well, for the time being. And that might also eliminate Team Europe as well. So I'll have to double check the table, but I think that's Team Europe eliminated from the group stage. So I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alright, and a big game here as Kit Green takes on Tabletop in Shadow Force. Up first for Kit Green we have an Alpha Chasmosaurus. And well, all attacking moves, but it hasn't seemed to work so far. Maybe today will be the day it works, but we'll just have to see. As for Shadow Force in the blue corner, we have an Alpha Rajasaurus. Shadow Force, already safely through to the last 32, can relax and enjoy these last two matches now. But, I'm sure Shadow Force would like a clean sweep in this group and win all five of their matches. So, uh, it's still plenty to play for, I guess. But, you know, you can, you can relax now, Shadow Force, because you're, you're already through, so... We'll just have to see what how many points you can finish on. I mean, can Shadow Force secure top spot of Group A? Or can Kit Green bite back? Such a huge game for Kit Green if Kit Green de gets defeated here. Depending on how the next match goes, Kit Green could also be out of the group stage. And, well... A magma blaster coming from the uh, what's this? Rajasaurus? <laughs> Forgot when I got had a brain freeze. Big damage done to Chasmosaurus, and in the clash of the Alpha Dinosaurs, it is the Rajasaurus that's on top so far. Ooh, that's another tie. And that's another tie. Ooh, the Rajasaurus gives Shadow Force a 1-0 lead. Alright then, up next for Kit Green, we have the Bull Beast, the Taurosaurus. Uh, let's have a look. Awake the mode on free. And, well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Watch out for that lightning strike because it will pack a punch. And that punch could be just what Kit Green needs to pull this back. Well, I'm sure I've mentioned, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Kit Green has to finish off this Rajasaurus before he gets too many hits. And finish it off is what Kit Green will do. A Gatlin Spark coming in to finish him off. Blech. 
Alright, as for Shadow Force's next dino, we have a Baryonyx. And it'll be tough for Shadow Force because this Baryonyx will be a type disadvantage against all of Kit Green's dinosaurs. So this could be a big chance for Kit Green to open up a lead. That's a tie. I think that might suit the Barry more because it won't do much damage with its moves. And honestly, I think it would do more damage to the Taurosaurus in a tie. Ooh, a big Thunder Driver coming from Taurosaurus. This is going to do a lot of damage. Well, it might not do as much damage as its crit. Well, it won't do as much damage as its crit, but it will still do a lot of damage. Okay, that's one. Double check the awaker mode on three. Oh, that's a tie. The Taurosaurus' health is slightly going down, but Kit Green has turned this match around. Oh, well, a bit overkill, but lightning strike from the Taurosaurus is going to give Kit Green a 2 1 lead. But don't count. Shadow Force out yet because his third dino is a Giga Spectral Armor. Lots of power in his beast. So Shadow Force isn't beaten yet. Oh, there's a crit coming from Gigas. Big damage coming Taurosaurus' way. Okay, that's twice. Okay, one more though. If Taurosaurus survives, it'll be awakening time. And it won't survive because the Gigas is going to get another hit off. And pull Shadow Falls back into the match. Well, it's, it's level because they're both down to their third dinos. And they're both of their third dinos have full HP. As for Kit Green's third dino, we have a Super Triceratops. And again, same moveset as his previous two dinosaurs because, you know... All attack, I suppose. And again, the Awaken Mode on three. Ooh, it all comes down to this. Oh, we start with a tie. Um, I don't think that'll suit either of them. I think it's the, I think it's the same, so. A tie won't do for these two, but Geiger's getting off the crit. Big damage there, and the poison as well. Okay, that's once. And that poison has guaranteed Shadow Force points in this match. Ooh, Kit Green responds with a Gatlin Spark. Big damage coming, Geigas is win. And I think this will also guarantee Kit Green points, which could be huge. That's twice. Wow, look at this. An even Stevens match. Oh, the Triceratops! It's awakening time! Big opportunity for Kit Green here to win the match. Oh, it's a tie! Well, Geiger's got his bar filled up, but the Super Triceratops pulled through and gave Kit Green a massive, monumental three points. And Shadow Force's winning streak comes to an end. But it's not all doom and gloom for Shadow Force, because one, they're already through to the last 32, and two, they'll get a losing bonus point. Which doesn't really matter, because as I said, they're already through. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Dino Nerd taking on Cypher Sky Dragon X. Both of these two combatants level on points. Alright, up first for Dino Nerd, we have a Giganonosaurus. Uh, we've seen what this guy can do. A win for Dino Nerd here will secure their place in the last 32. As, well, in, the in theory, should a win should be enough for all Slifer Sky Dragon to book their place in the last 32, so it's plenty to play for here. As for Slifer Sky Dragon, we have an Ableosaurus. Beware that Magma Blaster, it could do a serious amount of damage. Bing, 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 bing. 
That's all one. Ooh, good start. Good start there from Dino Nerd. A crit right off the bat. Big damage coming Abelosaurus' way. But Magma Blaster has been triggered. And Magma Blaster be activating. Slifer Sky Dragon responding with a big hit of their own. Well, that was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that's a tie. Ooh, but the Giga gets off the hit. And I think we'll take out the Abelosaurus? I'm not sure, because Dino Swing isn't very compatible with Giga, so it does less damage. Yeah, look at that. If that was, like, Atomic Bomb or even Net Crusher, then that would have been lethal. Shows the difference in compatibilities, doesn't it? But it doesn't matter, though, because the Abelosaurus is going down. But Dino Nerd's lead is very slender. Okay, up next for Slifer Sky Dragon, we have an Apatosaurus. Um, no point in going through this guy's moveset since it's all secret moves, but because it's lethal type, it definitely packs more of a punch than most secrets. Ooh, that's a tie, and that is curtains for the Giga. Slifer Sky Dragon not letting what has happened to previous contestants in this tournament and allowing the first dino to get off too many hits. Okay, up next for Dino Nerd, we have an Albertosaurus. This beast secured Dino Nerd's win last time out. Can it help him win this match this time around? That critical block could be very handy. Ooh, the Albertosaurus getting off the first hit. Dino Nerd still holding a slight lead. Oh, that's a tie. Still no secret moves. And that's another tie. Oh, there's a tie recovery from Albertosaurus. And there's all the secret moves. But the Alpatosaurus is struggling to get hits at the moment and is almost dead. But one, one secret move can change all that. However... The Albertosaurus is having none of it. A blazing spin coming in, defeating the Apatosaurus and giving Dino Nerd a 2-1 lead. But it's going to be tough for Dino Nerd because Slifer Sky Dragon's third Dino is spiny. And we definitely saw what this beast can do. So I wouldn't count out Slifer Sky Dragon yet. Shockwave could be key here to, for Slifer Sky Dragon to get back in this game. Oop, that's a tie. There's the tie recovery effect again. Oh, Albertosaurus getting off another hit. And a crit hook or block as well which will tighten Dino Nerd's screw on this match. And because it's not a super move, it's not affected by the type of disadvantage. Okay, so Dino Nerd will be going for paper, and Spiny will be going for rock is a blazing spin. It won't do as much damage as it normally will, but it will do some damage. Respectable amount of damage there. Oh my god, Dino Nerd, what are you doing? Another hit from the Albertosaurus and a death grind coming. And I think this is curtains for Spiny. Yep, that's curtains for Spiny and a bonus point win for Dino Nerd. And that will also secure Dino Nerd's place in the last 32. Ooh, exciting that was. Right, time to update the table and we'll end the session. Well, Group B looking quite interested, isn't it? you got Shadow Force still top with 12 points and, well, already through, so they're quite irrelevant. 
But then you have Dino Nerd in second on 11 points after booking their place in the last 32. And we have Laust in third claiming a bonus point win over Team Europe with 9 points. And then we have Slifer Sky Dragon X with 7 points. And then we have Kit Green with 6 points after that massive win over Shadow Force. And then we have Team Europe on 2 points who are already eliminated. Because they, well, they, they, actually, if even if Team Europe wins 3 0 and get maximum points of 5 points. They will be level with Slifer Sky Dragon X, but because Slifer Sky Dragon X won their matchup, Slifer Sky Dragon will be above Team Europe. So that's why Team Europe are already eliminated. So let's have a look at round five. Round five, we will see Team Europe going up against Kit Green. Such a big game for Kit Green. Definitely got themselves right back in it. And then we have Laos taking on Dino Nerd. And last but not least, we'll have Shadow Force taking on Slifer Sky Dragon. So definitely some matches there. I expect Kit Green to win this match, so that will put him up to 9 points. But because Laus beat him in the matchups, he will still be below Laus. And then I think Laus will beat Dino Nerd anyway, so I think Laus will go up to 12 points. And then this last matchup, 5 versus 6, I suspect Shadow Force will win, so... Yeah, I think the top four will be Shadow Force, then Laus, then Dino Nerd, then Kit Green. But we'll just have to see how it plays out. And until then, stay tuned for next time, or we'll kick off Group C. Well, round four for Group C. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out.